Oh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Planet Zoo, taking a look at some of the blueprints on the Steam Workshop. We, we have some really, really great artists today. Our first two pieces were made by TXLs. They call this first one African Plaza. And then we have Africa, Edificio del Personnel. You can bring both of these into your zoo for right around $47,000. What lovely pieces you've done here. Thank you so much for sharing with the community. Our next piece was made by Garlic Swindler. They call this Apathetic Archer. Thank you so much, Garlic Swindler, for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing this very fun piece with us. Our next two pieces were made by Mighty Fury. They call this first one Pumpkin House. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 5000 And then we have another Wizard Tower by Mighty Fury. We're right around 17000 Thank you so much, Mighty Fury, for posting these really nice Halloween pieces on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Quay. They call this Tiger Duo Conservation Board. You can bring this into your zoo for $650. Thank you so much, Quay, for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing this very nice conservation board with the community. Our next piece was made by Sam McAfee, and they call this Snow Leopard Slope. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $44,000. Thank you so much, Sam, for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing this Snow Leopard Slope with us. Our next piece was made by Paul Slee. They call this Penguin Palace, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around What an absolutely beautiful piece. Thank you so much, Pausley. Our next piece was made by Notley57. They call this Vivarium. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $33,000. What a very, very nice build, Notley. Thank you so much for sharing with us on the community. Our next piece was made by Panda, and they call this Flamingo Habitat. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $16,000. A truly fun piece. Thank you so much, Panda, for sharing with us. Our next piece was made by Cal Gerlin. They called this Old German Shop Street. And you can bring this into your zoo for right around $34,000. Thank you so much, Cowgirl, and for sharing this old German shopping street with us. 
and Mermaid Tears has made Realism West African Lion Pixel Mural, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around $12,000. What a beautiful piece, Mermaid Tears. Our next four pieces were made by Zulonic. They call this first one Longhouse Open Concept Museum. Bring that into your zoo for right around 6000 And then we have the Norse Arctic Shop Shell for right around 4000 And we have a Norse Fountain for 2000 and then we have a Norse cottage for 3000 Thank you so much, Zulinok, for bringing us these Norse Arctic pieces to the workshop. Our next two pieces were made by Frogman Small. They called this first one Aged Mechanics Workshop. And then we have the Sci-Fi Portal Entrance. You can bring both of these into your zoo for right around $18,000. Some really, truly epic pieces here. Thank you so much, Frogman Small. Our next piece was made by Igor, and they call this Ticket Machine. So you can bring them into your zoo for right around $2,000. Thank you so much, Igor, for posting on the Steam Workshop and bringing us some ticket machines. Our next three pieces were made by Just Gordon. They called this first one Safari Boat Dock. You can bring that into your zoo for right around 5000 And then we have the Safari Boat Livingstone, and you can bring that into your zoo for right around 17000 Then we have the Safari Boat a Stanley, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around 21000 Thank you so much, Jess Gordon, for bringing us some very nice boats to the Steam Workshop. Our next three pieces were made by PZ. They call this first one a little magic fountain with lights, and you can bring that into your zoo for right around 2500 And then we have a, the a Torchlight a Lamplight, and you can bring that into your zoo for 206. And then we have a Magic Wonder Lamp Light for $207. Three very nice pieces here by PZ. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Our next piece was made by Dead Yoshi. They call this the Dead Yoshi's Living Wall and Cascading Fountain. You bring this into your zoo for right around $3,000. Thank you so much, Dead Yoshi, for bringing us this very, very nice little wall and cascading fountain. Our next two pieces were made by Night Fusion. First off, we have a modern fence for right around $200. And then we have the Redwood Zoo, and you can bring that into your zoo for right around $6,000. Thank you so much, Night Fusion, for bringing these two very nice pieces to the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Royal Viking. They call this Enclosure Jaguar. Bring this into your zoo for $37,000. What a very nice Jaguar habitat. Thank you so much for posting and sharing with us on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Clemens. They call this Overgrown Ravine Village. You can bring this into your zoo for $32,000. What a very nice piece you've made here, Clemens. Thank you so much for sharing with us. 
Our next piece was made by Hyperion. They call this a giant corn maze, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around $27,500. What a really fun Halloween piece, fall piece you've made here. Thank you so much for sharing with us on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by a Joe Black is back and they call this water and power station in a classic house. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $13,000. Thank you so much, Joe Black is back for posting and sharing this very nice piece with us on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Alice. They call this Pizza Planet, and you can bring this into your zoo for $26,000. Thank you so much, Alice, for sharing this very creative piece with us. Our next piece was made by Peter, and they call this Food and Logistics Center Backstage Collection, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around $140,000. What a truly epic piece you've made here. Thank you so much, Peter. Our next piece was made by Loa Lugba. They call this Red Panda Habitat. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $7,000. What a very nice piece you've made here. Thank you so much for sharing with us on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Otterly Adorable. They call this information boards. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $3,000. What a truly wonderful job you've done here, Otterly, and I also love your name. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Our next two pieces were made by Jay Kim. They call this first one Tipper General Store. You can bring that into your zoo for right around 6000 And then we have the firewood chopping station. Thank you so much, Jay Kiln, for bringing these two very nice pieces to the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Dost Use. They call this Gorilla and Chimpanzee Bonobo Habitat. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $4,000. Thank you so much, Dashus, for bringing this very nice habitat to the Steam Workshop. Our next two pieces were made by Tifa 100. They call this Pirate Market Scene. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 3000 And then we have Staff Farm Building, and you can bring that into your zoo for right around 13000 Thank you so much, Tiffa, for bringing these two very nice pieces to the Steam Workshop and sharing with us. 
Our next piece was made by I'm Jack Lee. They call this the teapot structure. And you can bring this into your zoo for right around $6,000. What a very clever idea. Thank you so much, I'm Jack Lee. Our next piece was made by Wee oui Wee, oui, and it, it comes in under a Chinese name that I cannot pronounce. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $5,500. Thank you so much, Wee oui Wee, oui, for bringing this to the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Planet Zoo Blogger, they call this Halloween Ghost. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $1,000. What a cute, really fun piece. Thank you so much, Planet Zoo Blogger. Our next piece was made by Amy Fawn. They call this Arctic Rotunda. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $9,000. Thank you so much, Amy Fawn, for bringing this very nice Arctic Rotunda to the Steam Workshop. Our next two pieces were made by Zekin. They called this first one Caterpillar Playground Equipment. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 600. And then we have the Crocodile Creek Saltwater Crocodile Habitat for 34,000. Thank you so much, Zekin, for bringing these two really nice pieces to the STEAM workshop. And as you can see, they come with lots of instructions to help you put them in your zoo. Our next three pieces were made by Horse Feather. First off, we have a Looney Balloon Shop. And then we have a large staff room. And then we have hats, fantastic. You can bring all three of these pieces into your zoo for right around $27,000. You do some very nice work here, Horse Feathers. Thank you so much for sharing with us on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Capu. They call this Tapir de Chango, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around $5,000. Thank you so much, Kapu, for sharing this very nice habitat with us on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by K Robot. They called this Pavilion Plaza 2. You can bring this into your zoo for $41,000. Thank you so much, K Robot, for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing this very nice piece with us. And I made a piece for today's episode, and I call it African Staff. And basically, it has all of the staff rooms that you need for your zoo to function, including water and electricity. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $33,000. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. And if you had a good time, please consider leaving a like, a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to do that so you can be here for our next episode. We will see you all back then. Take care.